The Bridgepoint model compilers have a number of runtime settings that can be configured on a per-project basis. These are done through marking files. To access the marking files, we need to switch to a different perspective. So here I'll open the C, C++ perspective. From there, underneath my project, I expand the gen folder. And this is where the marking files are stored. Each of these marking files contains a number of runtime settings that are described in detail in the Bridgepoint model compiler help. Each setting also has a description and helpful usage information in the marking file itself. There are two key marks that you need to know to get started. The first is in the system.mark file and it is the first mark within that file. And that is to mark a system configuration package. This is the package to use that contains all of the wired components. Remember, in the GPS watch, we had our library package, which contained all the unconnected components, and then we also had the system package that had the wired component references. This is the one that we want to use for translation. Note that in order to use the mark, we simply add the invoke statement into the file on a line by itself without the comment markers preceding it. The other key marking to know about is in the domain.mark file. And once again, it is the first mark within that file. And that is to mark an initialization function, which is a function that the architecture should launch at bootstrap time. Here we've decided that we want to use the init function in the UI component. And this function will be launched when we start the application.